Hey everybody, it's Brother Gary, and before we get started, just real quick, uh, if you would, right below, hit the like button, thumbs up, and uh, hit the subscribe button and share it with somebody, all right? Thanks. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, it's Brother Gary, and I uh, just want to give you a quick ministry update. We're back in Mexico now, and it is the 27th of October. We, uh, we've been gone since the uh, 3rd, and... Uh, been traveling around America and I, I've got to say this this is the coldest we've been all throughout the trip it is 39 degrees here this morning so we uh, we're freezing but uh, trip was great successful and uh, we're very thankful and uh, appreciative and humbled on everyone who's been praying for us helping us along the way and uh, new friends old friends that we've seen so uh, we left here, went up through St. Louis and Huntsville and saw some old friends there in, in St. Charles and, and then up Huntsville, see Brother Tim Gibson, who's got a printing ministry there uh, in Missouri and uh, great ministry and uh, trying to raise some paper. So if you can help them, help them out for uh, printing Bibles. And then uh, from there, we went on to DeMott and met the Stones and uh, have that uh, van there. And uh, we'll be bringing that back. It's given to Hands Across the Border, and uh, we'll be giving it to the church in Nogales. Uh, they got it running, so we should be getting it here probably in December or so. And then down to the Seedline Conference. What a great conference. Good to see our old friends, the AGs, and, and just all the folks from Seedline, and, and Brother Keith, and, and, and the Porters, and just everyone that was there, the Burgesses. And I know I'm leaving people out, but... There's just so many names. And then uh, we got to stay with the Drews uh, in Ohio. We left from there, went to Ohio. And uh, what a great thing the New Testament Baptist Church did. They filled that trailer up about halfway and, and uh, backpacks and all kinds of things. And before I forget, Seedline gave us a, a cargo trailer, uh, about a 16, 18 foot cargo trailer. What a blessing that was as we went through all the rain and stuff. But then we went up to Ohio. They filled us up, wow. That was amazing and uh, got to stay at the Drews, always eat good at the Drews. I went in at 120 pounds, came out about, I don't know, 400, and, uh, but it was worth it. Hey, Amen. I'm glad I brought my elastic pants. And uh, from there, uh, then uh, we went down through Arkansas, picked up all kinds of backpacks from the summers and uh, church there, Freedom Baptist Church in Jacksonville. And then they uh, gave us some money to help us finish out the mission in San Ignacio. So God bless you. Thank you for that. And gave us some backpacks for Operation Compassion. Was out at Triple S. Always good to see our, our mentors and friends, the bishops. And uh, they had their grandkids bring in backpacks and things. And so great there. And they started a church out there in Rosebud, Arkansas. And uh, be praying for them, man. Looks like it's going great. And uh, was with Brother Sean, uh, Assistant Director to uh, Hands Across the Border down there in Pine Bluff. And then Brother Eddie Kitchens from uh, Gospel Light Baptist Church there in Bryant uh, brought us about 300 backpacks. And so, man, we had a load of backpacks and Bibles. And then uh, on the way back, we stopped in Las Cruces, New Mexico. And uh, a fellow that we met on the way out, we met him at the Walmart on the way out in Las Cruces. He says he brought food into Mexico. And I said, man, we could always use it. And, so he called me, he saw we were coming back in and, and uh, we were able to meet him there in Las Cruces. He brought us 500 pounds of uh, beans. So praise the Lord, isn't that neat how the Lord works? And then uh, we came back here uh, yesterday uh, after 6,500 miles. And then today, well, we got to do some running around. Our pastor, Pastor Tim Fleur, and about 12 men from Victory Baptist Church in Milton, Florida be coming out and uh, coming out for the Day of the Dead. We'll be passing out scripture. Plus, he'll be preaching at our Bible study on Friday and uh, our service on Saturday. And uh, we'll just be handing stuff out Sunday, Monday. And uh, we're looking forward to them coming. And uh, today I got to go back up to the States real quick. I got a couple pallets of Bibles waiting for me. Need to be uh, moved across town. And then uh, maybe next week we'll bring them across the border. So I uh, just want to say thank you. 6,500 miles. Wow. And uh, we just living on the road. And uh, Sarah from Milton, Florida, uh, who's down here with us in Mexico, 
she's uh, she's a trooper so so far driving with us since she's been with us since August uh, almost 10,000 miles on the road picking up scripture and different things to bring to Mexico and uh, what a trooper great help and uh, we're just so thankful for her and pray for her that uh, Lord gives her discernment and direction as she figures out what she wants to do uh, in the future but uh, keep praying for us Operation Compassion's coming up we're beginning to bring backpacks and things across uh, the border yesterday we'll bring a little at a time and uh, uh, we'll have it all ready for December so God bless y'all just want to say thank you and uh, keep on keeping on keep on putting one foot in front of the other one exciting thing I get to do bring my vote across the border mail it in and uh, I'm excited about that for the presidential race so uh, may the Lord bless you and uh, may you keep praying for us and uh, look forward to seeing some of y'all if you get a chance come on down to Mexico it's kind of cold right now but it'll be 70 degrees during the day so God bless y'all bye-bye